All right, here we go. Pee Wee Longway. Welcome to Vlad TV. Hey, right, man. What's happening, Vlad? I mean, uh, we got one of the hottest dudes in Atlanta right now. Congrats on everything. <laughs> it is what it is. I mean, you've been putting in some work. Trying my best, man. You know, I ain't gonna let up. No time soon. And you know, when I listen, when I listen to your songs, it's like, you sound like someone that's been rapping for a long time. Like, it doesn't sound like you just jumped into it and you just bullshit. It sounds like you really have been taking it seriously for a while. I mean, see, I have been putting my all into it since, I, since people started taking a liking into it. But, you know, I did just start. You know what I'm saying? I am fresh to it. I mean, you've been, what, four or five years, like, yeah. rapping? Yeah. Scrum. Sounds like it's been longer, man. Congrats. <laughs> that crazy, huh? I mean, some people just naturally, you know, naturally take to it. I guess I'm one of them, my boy. <laughs> okay, so you grew up on the south side. Yeah. Which zone? Three. Zone three. Yes, okay. sir. Okay. What are the rappers from Zone Three? Just so people don't know. Uh, Young Thug. Okay. Uh. What Young C Cash Out? Okay. Uh. Day Day. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Young Rao. Okay. Y'all yes. got some talent out there. Yeah, yeah, we got Flame coming out at three, man. Wicked. That's what's up. Young Wicked, yeah. So, what was it like growing up in Zone 3 as a kid? I mean, I want to say like every, I want to, I want to say like every other average man, man, you know what I mean? It, it wasn't always good, it wasn't always bad. We just took it with each other and ran with it. Okay. Um... When I, when I look at your music, when I listen to your music, and I look at your album covers and stuff like that, I'm seeing a lot of blue. The color blue seems to be very it's prominent. A, it's a, it's, it's, it's a nice color, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice nice color. It ain't nothing like that. Now, now, I assume there's a Crip thing going on? Nah, just a nice nice color. Just a nice color? Yeah. No, no Cripping going no, on? No, no, no nothing. Just no a nice nothing. color, just the scene. Things okay. in the scene, man. <laughs> okay. Uh, you know, growing up in that type of environment, uh, a lot of people start to hustle early. Like, how old were you when you first started hustling? I wasn't hustling, man. I was, I, I, I was a school guy, man, going to school, handling my business, man, you know? <laughs> you 100% legal? You were good? Yeah, yeah. Doing everything by the book? Doing it by the book, man. Make sure it happens. Okay. You know? And that's the way to answer those types of questions. People get mad at me for asking, but then people answer how they're going to answer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So when I get that type of answer, I respect that type of answer. Right. You know? And for all the future rappers out there, y'all don't have to answer my questions. Y'all can answer it <laughs> like P.D. Right. Longway saying that, you know, I ain't affiliated with none of that shit. I don't do none of that shit. I'm just a rapper. Right. <laughs> I respect that. That's uh -huh. what's up. That's what's up. So, I heard you got the name Pee Wee Longway from a girl. Yeah, I was trying to get my um, Instagram thing set up, man. You know what I'm saying? My, uh, my Twitter thing set up. And I was trying to come up with the name. You know what I'm saying? I blurted out what, what I'm going to put. She, she blurted out Longway. <laughs> okay. Uh, but you were Pee Wee before? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Granny gave me that name. Okay. Why did you call you Pee Wee? I don't know. I get what Granny, you know, I'm a small guy with big thing going. So people, you know, people make shit just sound big. I like the name Pee Wee. That's nice. Okay. <laughs> I mean, you know, there's, there's some other famous Pee Wees out there. You know, we That's what I'm saying. That's why I say I run with the name Pee Wee. I yeah. go with that. Yeah. I mean, I don't know if you ever heard of Pee Wee Kirkland. That's what I'm trying to tell you. Pee Wee Kirkland, you know what I'm saying? You know, he's yeah. the GOAT. Yep. Yeah. You know what I mean? That's the Absolutely. GOAT. Yeah, that's the GOAT. Now, you know what I mean? And, you know, I already know what's going on about Pee Wee Kirkland. That was, it's in uh -huh. one of them verses. I said, neighborhood push on Pee Wee Kirkland. Oh, yeah, that was, uh... It's in one of my verses already. <laughs> yeah, what was it? A legend in two games, like Pee Wee Kirkland. Yeah, Pee Wee Kirkland, man, the GOAT. Okay, so your grandma call you Pee Wee. Yeah. Girl call you Longway. You yeah. stuck with it. You got Pee Wee Longway. Yeah, hey, we got two on together. Now, what made you want to get into rapping? Uh, I'm an urban guy, man. You know what I mean? I'm urban. I'm already urban, so urban is unreal. Um, well, you know, thug, thug. I don't want to say thug. I want to say wicked and dupe, man. You know what I mean? Then came along thug. You know what I'm saying? You know, they had something going on, you know? And, you know, 
you know, they had they had a nice sound within themselves, you know, that was different or whatnot. But um, see, I get me going to the studio with them, and I just wanted to have, they were like, get in there, you know what I'm saying? I jumped in there and had me some fun, man, you know what I mean? I, and I take it that fun, I get a chance to have some fun. And I have been taking it that fun, the folk took it that serious. So that what really made me start getting in. I ain't never been in the music in no type of shape, form, or fashion, you know what I mean? But okay. I, I, I look at it as having fun, another way for me having fun. Okay, so Young Thug was rapping before you. Yeah, hey, yeah. Yes, sir. Okay. So you would go to the studio with him. He'd be doing his thing. What made you want to just jump in? I mean, would you actually jump into one of those sessions, or were you at home starting to write, you know, I, get your uh, shit ready? Yeah, when it, when it, when it time, you, hey, get in there, big boy. That what he told me, man. He told big boy to get in there. I went in there and tried it. Man, dang, you know, I, 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 I was like, man, some bullshit, but shit, they, they didn't let me come out the booth. Made me finish oh, they, they the just birth. they just kept you in there until I finished. You know what I mean? I shit, you know, and I took it that serious, like something that that I, you know, as a goal or something I wanted to just accompany and shit. I guess it happened. Okay, so what was it like hearing your voice on a record for the first time? Laugh out loud. I mean, funny as a motherfucker, like shit. But they took a liking into it. It was funny to me. You know what I mean? I still think it's funny, man. You know what I'm saying? Like it, it, it's still like I don't, I don't, I. I, I I don't want to upset nobody, but shit, it's, it's funny as hell to me. <laughs> okay. Now, from what I understand, you don't write at all. Like, you just go in there and just start start rapping. Yes, sir. Now, why is that? Why, why, why don't you ever write anything down? Because it's already written in my brain. Like, if huh. I'm going to write it on a piece of paper, I'm, I'm going to write it. I'm, I'm writing it and I'm going to say it. Okay. Because th th there's two, you know, I think when Jay-Z came out and said that he don't write, all these rappers started doing, you know, started like doing that. I didn't know when Jay Z said that. Like, I want to know. I want familiar with music or none of that when Jay said that. Okay. Yeah, I did this something. Yeah. Okay. Something we you know, I, I've, I've interviewed Jay Z's producers, you know, like Just Blaze and um, Young Guru and stuff like that. And what they explained to me is, when Jay Z comes in and, and does his verse, right? You know, from his head. He's already, he's worked out the entire verse in his head already. Like, he's not freestyling. He's already worked out the whole verse. You know, he's he, he walks around, kind of works it out in his head, and then goes in the booth. Right. Do you work out, you work out the whole thing in your head first? Right. Huh. Right. Get what, you know what I mean? Like, well, you're going to say what you're going to say on the paper, you know what I mean? You're going to get what you're going to say. Like, I, I already get, like, the first couple balls in my head, you know what I mean? <clears throat> it's over with from now. Okay, so you don't work out the whole 16. You, you work out the first few. Yeah, look, first look, whatever I'm going to get ready to say, whatever come out of my mouth first, that we're going to lead to the whole song. Okay. So then, like, when do the hooks come in? Afterwards? I work on either hook, either then, or I just started out with a verse. Like, it all get worked out after the song. <laughs> okay. H have you ever tried to write something down? It ain't going to work. <laughs> Didn't work. No, nah, it's like you saying it, like you, uh, uh, like you saying it. You see what I'm saying? Like, instead of just... Attacking it, like you ain't gonna attack it the right way. But I can write something down. So, at what point did the MPA thing come in? I mean, shit, that's what it started off of. Okay, so so the MPA name was that around before you started rapping? Yeah, that's how we came in. Okay. How we came in. Now, are you the founder of MPA? Yes, sir. Okay, and MPA stands for. What it stand for? <laughs> MPA. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna butt in here because you, you've already addressed this before. <laughs> what, you know, you had it you had it on your wall in this one interview. It stands for money, pounds, and ammunition. Power. Money, pounds, and ammunition. <laughs> power, or, or man. You gotta have money, power. power and money, power, power, and ammunition. Yes, okay. sir. So, money, power, and ammunition. I like hey, it. It is what it is. Like they talk about the music thing. How many people are in MPA? It's a lot of them, man. It's more than 10. Can you break them down? It's a lot of them, man. It's a lot, man. I don't, I don't want to piece of mine. It's a lot. Okay. Duke is one of the prominent ones, though. He was. Duke still in yeah. MPA, man. You know, I still look at Duke at MPA. You know, that's that's the best. Yeah, no, no. Yeah, I mean, that's what I'm one thing about this right here, man. One thing about a brother, man. A brother gonna forever be a brother, man. You know, and, and, and 
Whatever side of the fence they go on, man, he's still my brother, man. You know what I mean? I don't look at him no different than they put another name on the front of their name. It's still my brother. So, with that being said, man, yeah, it still is a whole lot of MPAs out there. You know what I'm saying? They okay. still my brother, That's man. Right. But we here to talk about it a long way. Let's get it.